Hi, um, I wondered if it was about time you kind of were reintroduced to this. Now, I know some of you will be going yawn, 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 and especially if you're in my class, because I work on this every week in my class. I do, I'll do like one day class, another day class, a third day this, for like two short videos about this, because I'm trying to get it finished but without it becoming all consuming. But having said that, it's all consuming, even if I'm not working on it, because it's just such a pleasure to work on and such a pleasure to have it, such a pleasure for it to be in the room with me um, when I'm working on other things. So this is what is known as the body bag. And the reason for that was because it's a pocket, but it's gonna be a human sized pocket. So it's a bag for a person, hence the body bag. That's how it came about. It wasn't initially going to be called the body bag. It was initially just a little piece of silk with some sampling on that then just grew and grew and grew. So since I've been doing it as part of every class that I'm, I've been doing, so the last two classes, I think, um, it's really, really growing. And it, to, be, to be honest, it's not that far from completion um, in terms of what it needs. But it is in terms of time, because everything is time consuming, um, which isn't a problem. I mean, it's such, I mean, what, what's not to like about having this to work on? This week in class, we did that tab. We, we created that tab and we added that tab. There's still a lot of seams to embroider. I've got another panel in progress that I'm working on and another few tabs that I'm working on, because there's going to be quite a few of those. But I just thought... You might be seeing a lot of this. I'm not decided yet, but I do feel like I want to spend maybe a week just working on this when I'm not doing things for class. Um, so if that was the case, you may well see a lot of this. Now, a lot of you might think, oh, well, I'm not going back. I won't visit. I can't help that. I'll have to take that risk if you get bored with it because really, I want to progress it really well. I mean, it's a plique. I mean, I love this applique. Um, applique... French knots, bullion knots, um, applique and bullion knots, patches and bullion knots. It's just like, it's just lovely to work on and it's a true labour of love. So I just thought I would briefly show you different sections of this, just flip it about in front of the camera so you can see different areas and see what's going on and see what you might be seeing more of you know, sometime in the near future. I haven't decided when that might be yet, but it is on my mind to actually concentrate on it for quite some time. I think, I mean, I was going to say that's one of my favourite areas, but to be honest with you, I think they've all got something that makes me want to say they're my favourite. It's hard to choose. Um, and when I'm not working on this, it just hangs in this room where I am now. I've got a... I'll get it and show you. I've got these hangers that you clip. And it just clips to one of these and hangs on a cabinet door um, in this room. So it's always there, even if it's inside out, because I tend to fold it right sides together before I, I hang it up. Um, yeah, so and there's another side of it. So really, just wanting to reacquaint you with that, or if you've never seen it before, just to give you a little overview of what it is and what's happening on that surface. Okay. And like I say, I do want to work on it but, uh, quite exclusively and, and like devotedly focused on this for, you know, for at least a week if I can. Maybe that's something I could do when class finishes before Christmas, maybe. We'll see. But it's just, I mean, it's on your knee when you're working on it. It's got such a weight to it. It's lovely, it's lovely, anyway. <laughs> 